Okay. So this uh, lesson, this will be the second part, second week ng aking uh, first quarter. Uh, fourth quarter, huling quarter na natin sa as grade 12 nyo. So this is business finance, week 2 of quarter 4. So our lesson for today is hindi na bago sa inyo. Ito ay lesson natin. Uh, balik tayo sa, sa nung grade 11 kayo. Oh. Let me share my screen. So our lesson for today is the value of money. Okay. So when we talk about value of money, eh, ano pasok naman pa tayo sa value of money. So ang pinag-uusapan dyan yung interest. Interest is the common and the primary factor when you invest or borrow money from the financial institution. So yung pinag-aralan po natin ng grade 11 ay dito ulit papasok. Okay. So interest nga po yung yung isa sa magbubuhay ng inyo pong negosyo dahil kaya nga po tayo nag negosyo ay para kumita at ang kita ay tinatawag nating interest. The value of money as well as its purchasing power can be influenced by economic factors such as inflation, cost of goods, and national or global crisis like COVID-19 pandemic. So yung, yung value ng ating pong uh, uh, ng pera, yung value ng pera natin ay nagbabago-bago because of the inflation rate. When we talk about inflation rate ay yung pagtaas ng pagtaas ng bilihin. Okay po? So, pag tumataas ang inflation rate, bumababa, bumababa ang value ng pera. Okay? Due to such reason, interest is computed by using its present and future time value. So, ang kailangan lang natin malaman is the present time, pag tinapin natin present time, present value, it is what we call the principal. Okay po? And the future time is the future value. Okay? Future time value is the future value, while the present time is what we call the principal. The concept of the present and future value can be considered following. Ito yung tatlong pinakamahalaga na naaral natin, which is principal, interest rate, and time period. Which is principal is P, interest is R, and time period is P. Okay po. So, dalawang klaseng interest ang babalikan natin. Ano nga yung dalawang klaseng interest na pinag-aralan natin dati? Kung naaalala pa. Ano nga yun? Sige nga. Anyone? What are the two types of interest na pinag-aralan natin last time? Sa statistics and probability. Hello. Narinig po ako. Naalala pa ang ating lesson. Sir, yung isa ay compound interest? Correct. It's the, the other one. The first, the other one is the compound interest. At yung isa ay? Ano yung isa? Correct yun, Camila. That's compound interest. And the other one is? Simple interest, okay po. Simple and compound interest. When we talk about simple, yung kung ano yung pinuha mo, ita times lang natin yung rate, yung rate natin sa time, then that will be the basis of your uh, of your interest. Pero kapag compound interest, habang tumata tumatagal, kasama sa pag-compute ng interest, yung yung naiiwan mong, na, naiiwan mong principal plus interest. Okay po padagdag ng padagdag ang ang value. Okay po, bigyan natin ng example ha. Example, pag sinabi nating um uh mayari mutang ka ng 10 piso at ang interest ang ang interest rate mo ay 10%, okay po? In simple, kapag dalawang buwan kang hindi nabayad, mayari 10% per month. So anong term percent ng 10 piso is piso? Kung 2 months ka bago magbayad, so that will be 12. Kasi that's 10% of 10 is 1. Dalawang 1, the 12. Pero kapag sinabi natin compound interest, balikan lang natin, yung, yung, natitira, mo, yung natitira mo ay mag, mapasama sa principal. For the first month, so that is 10 times 1, uh, 1 per, uh, 10%, that will be 11 pesos. 
11 pesos, pagdating natin sa second month, hindi 10, 10 pesos ang ating magiging basis, kundi yung 11 pesos. Kaya that's 11 times 10% is 1.1. So, imbis na ang pag, pag principal, pag simple interest, ang binabayaran natin ay 12 pesos, pero pagdating natin sa compound interest, that will be 12.1. At iyan ang babalikan natin for this day. Eh, kung paano natin kinocompute yan. So, let's start first with the simple interest. When we talk about simple interest, we simply have the we have the formula which is I equals PRT where uh, interest is equals to principal times rate times time. Okay? So, let's have an example. Dinalugi, Dinaluluki Corporation deposits 100,000 in BCO Bank with 10% annual interest. After one year, it becomes 110,000. Uh, 110, 100 is the principal and 10 is the interest rate, uh, earned interest. Thus the, thus, the value of peso today will increase in the future because of the interest. So, paano nakuha na after one year, it's 110 na? So, if we are to compute, palikan lang natin kung paano natin, sabi nga natin, ang interest natin ay equal sa PRT. A, P, R, T. Sabi natin, ang ating principal ay 100,000 times our rate. Anong rate natin? Which is 10% annual interest. So that's 0 0.10. 0 0.10. We have to change that into decimal. Then after one year, so ang ating time is 1. Tandaan natin, dapat magka- Ito, magkatugma ang ating pong rate at sa hapo ang time. Dapat tingnan nyo kung ang rate natin ay annual or monthly basta anong given time natin. Dapat pareho. Kung monthly, you have to compute it by monthly. So yung, yung year, you have to change it into months. Pero kung atin naman po ang computation naman natin ay annually, ibig sabihin year, you have to compute or you have to change the month into year para magtugma sila. Since pareho naman, it's annual, but after a year, so that's one, so nagtugmaan silang dalawa, so that is 100,000 times 0.10 times 1, so that is 10,000. And that is our interest. So after a year, nagkaroon siya ng interest na 10,000. So this 10,000 is our interest and the future value, the, our FB, will be 110,000. Paano nakuha ang 110,000? It is simply the interest, future value, is equals to principal plus interest. Okay? Tanda pa yan? Opo, natatandaan pa? Opo. Ayan. So yan, pag, uh, basis lang, pag basic po, di yan lang po ang gagawin natin. So that's I equals PRT. So equals to 100 times 0.1 times 1. Then we have our interest, which is 10,000. And to get its future value, it will be principal plus interest, and that will be 110,000. Hmm? Got it? That is basic. Dahil walang sinabing that dahil walang sinabing um kung anong klase interest automatically we will take that as simple simple interest. Pag naka-specify naka na it it will be compounded then it's compounded interest. For this question or example wala naman na naka-specify na anong klase ng interest so we will take that as simple interest. Okay? Let's have the next one. Yeah. So, can you please compute for this? You have an excess money after holiday season amounting to 5,000. You considered depositing it in the bank. The bank offers you a simple interest of 12% per annum. If you deposit money for nine months, what will be its future value? Okay. Sige nga po. So, what is our principal here? Uh, 
Our principal is? Five thousand po. Five thousand. That's correct. We have the principal of five thousand. Ang rate natin is twelve percent per annum. Okay, twelve percent per annum. Then ang time natin ay nine months. Nine months. Eto yung sinasabi ko po, people. Dapat magkatugma ito time at saka rate. Your rate is per annum, meaning yearly, while your time is in months. So you have to change your time in a in a in a manner of by year. Okay po, naka year naka year rate tayo. So alam natin there are how many months in a year? 12 po. So that will be 9 over 12. Okay, 9 over 12 year. Okay, para lang magtugma yung dalawa. So we can now compute for our future value by simply looking first for the interest. Interest is PRT. So that is 5,000 times 0.12 times 9 over 12. Ano po ang sagot? Sige nga, kumbitin nyo nga po. What is our interest after 9 months? What is the interest after 9 months? That's 450. That's correct. That's 450 pesos. Okay. So what will be our future value? 5,450. So that is correct. Um, that is principal plus interest. So that will equal to 5,000. Sorry. Last 450. So the final answer is 5,450. Any questions so far? Wala po, sir. Ano po naman siguro? Ito naman lesson natin dati. Okay. Next. Let me clear this one. Oh. Another type that we have for interest is what we call the compound interest. When we talk about compound interest, it is computed for both principal and interest accumulated in prior periods. So, yun nga yung papatong ng papatong, yung palaki ng palaki ang principal habang tumatagal. Okay, nababagal yung principal. The process of determining the future value is using the compound interest is called compounding. So in finding the future value of compound interest, it is what we call compounding. Using compound interest will lead a higher future value than simple interest. Please take note of that, na mas malaking interest kapag compounded versus simple. Okay? Kung pareho yung time. Please take note, kung constant ang time, mas malaki ang interest ng compound kaysa Simple. Okay? Pero ibang usapan kapag magkaiba sila ng time. Okay? So, our formula for the future value of our um, compound compounding is FBN or future value is equal to pri uh, principal times the quantity 1 plus I over uh, raised to N. Okay? So, as you may see, ABC Corporation deposited 100,000 in a bank for two years with an annual interest rate of 10%. In, uh, in its first year, it will earn 10,000 from the principal, thus becoming 110,000. And in the second year, it will earn 10,000 interest. So that's 
from 110 it will become 121,000. Para lang maliwanag paano nangyari, tingnan natin ito. Okay? Kung first year lang ang gagawin natin, ito yung sinasabi ko kanina, kung 10,000, 100,000, alam mo agad na ang 10% ng 100,000 ay 10,000. So, after first year, one year, if this is simple interest, this will become idadagdagan natin to ng 10,000. So, this is 110,000. Okay? Kasi ang kanya pong interest ay 10,000 lang. Saan ang galing yung 10,000 interest? Kasi yung 100,000 times 10% is um, 10,000. Then i-add natin sa principal natin which is 110,000 pesos. Okay po. So wait lang ha. Kuhanin ko lang ang aking charger. Mga matay laptop. Okay. Kung simple to, for the second year, automatic, for this, kung ito yung simple lang ha, kung simple, automatic, ang idadagdag ulit natin ay 10,000. Kasi sa, sa simple, kung anong principal natin sa unahan, yun lang ang lagi ang principal natin. natin. So this will be 120,000 for the simple. Pero kung ang pag-uusapan natin ay Um, this is simple. For the compound, hindi. Ang magiging uh, principal natin for the second year is not the 100,000 but the 110,000. Kaya ang magiging interest niya ay 11,000. So that's 11,000 plus 110 kaya siya nagiging 121,000. Okay? So kung gagamitin natin yung formula para mas mabilis, So that is 100,000 times 1 plus 0.10 raised to 2. Kasi uh, we're talking about 2 years. So that is 100,000 plus 1.1 or 1.10 raised to 2. Okay? So that's 100,000. Ano ang 1.1 times 1.1? Or 1.1 squared? That is 101.21. So 1.21 times 100,000. So that is 121,000. Okay? Pareho lang. Okay? So, your future value is 121,000. What is the interest after two years? People, how much is the interest after two years? Hello po. So, ang, ang future value natin after two years of compounding is 121,000. Magkano ang interest after compounding after two years? Hello po. Open mic. You can open your mic. Magkano ang interest after two years after compounding? Diyan ka ba kayo? Sagot. 21,000 po. That's 21,000. That's correct. The principal is 100,000. The interest will be 100. Uh, the, the future value is 121,000. Therefore, our interest after two years is 21,000. Okay? Let me carry this. Let's have the next one.
Can you please compute for this? Given the principal amount of 5,000, how much will be the future value if it will be deposited in another bank with a compound interest of 12% per annum at at least one and a half years? So I'm giving you two minutes to compute for this. Given the principal amount of 5,000, how much will be the future value if it will be deposited in another bank with a compound interest rate of 12% per annum at least one and a half year? Mm -hmm. Okay, the compute. Compute, not my pen. So our principal is five thousand. Our rate is 12% and our time is one and a half, one and one half a year. So I think you have a calculator. Kayo. So, Using the formula, our formula is future value is equals to P times 1 plus R raised to N. That's our value. May na, may na compute po ba? Sino po na compute? Pa, pa, paano rin? Paano lang? Pasabi lang. Sino yung nagko-compute? Wala po nagko-compute? Okay po. Sige, Angela. So our principal is 5,000 times 1 plus 0.12. Ano ang magiging N natin? Sige nga, kung hindi kayo nagko-compute, at least yung N. What will be our N? Anyone? People? Anyone? What will be our N? Anyone who would like to, to answer? Sabi natin, ang time natin is one and one half year. Ano ilalagay natin sa N? 1.5, sir. Correct. It's 1.5. Okay? Kasi, one half year is 0.5. So, that's 1.5. Okay. Baguhin lang natin ng konti para tayo magkaintindihan. Example. Ang sabi ko dito ay quarter D. Compounded quarter D. Ano magiging N natin? Or, ay, hindi, joke lang. Kung quarterly ang compound niya, bas one and a half year, ilang quarter son? Um, apat, sir. Apat? Ang one and a half year, apat? Hindi, joke lang po, sir. <laughs> Ala, sige, isip. It is compounded quarterly. So kung quarterly, ilang quarter ang meron sa one and a half year? Sa so isang taon ba, may ilang quarters? Tatlo po. Hmm? Quarter. Quarter. Quarter means four. Quart. Okay? So technically, sa isang taon, may apat na quarter. Kung apat na quarter sa isang taon, ilang quarter ay meron sa one and a half year? Dalawa po. 
One and a half. One and a half. Six plus six. Six. Third will be six. So that's four plus two. Yeah. Kung sinag kung nalagay ko dito semi annual, semi annual. So may ilang semi annual sa isang taon. Dalawa. Dalawa. So, may ilang semi-annual sa one and a half year? Tatlo po. Tatlo. Very good. Okay. So, sa so given here is annual. So, it, uh, annual. ba diba? Annual. Pag sinabi natin anong per anong is it's year, one year. May ilang year sa isang taon? Isa po. May ilang year sa so one and a half year? May ilang year sa so one and a half year? Yan ang tanong. May ilang year sa so one and a half year? May... Isang year. May ilang year sa so one and a half year? There will be 1.5 year. So you have to change that, your one half, into year. And one half year means six months, diba? Six months over 12. Six months over 12, it will be 0.5. Kaya siya 1.5 year. So one and a half year means 1.5. Kaya isinusulit po natin dito is 1.5. So ito yung kukumpitin natin. That's 5,000 times 1.12 raised to 1.5. And can you please compute that? 5,000. 5, so that's 1.12 raised to 1.5 times 5,000. Anong sagot niyo po? Ano na huwag yung sagot? Five thousand times one point twelve raised to one point five. Ano na huwag yung sagot? It's 5,926.48. 5,926.48. And that will be our future value. What is our interest? Interest na lang. Anong interest natin? Hello. Ano interest? 926 and 48. Okay po. 926.48. Okay. Mamaya na yung principal. Okay. So yan po ang pag-compute for that. Okay. There are instances na, na ang nangyayari ay ganito. Yan. Moderna shop expect to receive 1,100 from above after a year from now. If the discount rate is 10%, how, what amount does the shop have to invest today? Okay? So, pabalik, pabalik tad. Pabalik tad. Pag sinabi ng what, uh, what amount should be invested for today, it is very obvious. It is very obvious na ang nawawala natin ay Principal. Principal. Okay po. Ang 110 dito ay ang future value while well, ang ating 10% is our rate and our time is 1. So, babalik ta rin natin. Since wala naman naka-specify dito whether it's uh, uh, it is compounded uh, compounded, ibig sabihin we'll take this as 
simple. So, babay tayo sa pagiging simple. Okay? So, paano natin nahanapin ang, pag ang, ang pagiging simple nito? Okay? So, ang formula natin for the future value is future value is equals to 1 PRT. PRT. So, ang gagawin lang natin, ililipat lang natin to. Since we're looking for P, so, i-divide lang natin siya with RT. So, P is equals to future value over R times T. Okay? Diba? Pag divide. So, P, principal natin. So, anong principal nga natin? Ay nawawala. Ang future value natin is 1,100 over our rate is, anong rate natin? That's 10% or 0.1 times 1, which is 1 year. So kapag dinivide natin yan, 1,100. So unahin muna natin yung point. Uh, so that's 1,100 divided by... 0.1 1100 divided by 0.1 So that is 11 11000 11000 So that is our principal At kapag naman example compounded so balik tarin mo lang siya kapag kunyari sinabi naman ito ay compounded di ba ang compound natin FB Okay, so FB equals um, P times 1 plus RT, R raised to N. So ang gawin lang natin kung kailangan natin ng P, so that's FB over 1 plus R raised to N. Okay. Okay, 11,000, so may, uh, mali pala. This is interest. Tama, interest. P was RT. Mali pala ang ano natin. Hindi pala to PB. This is interest. Sorry. Interest. I equals PRT. So, kapag ang interest ang inaano natin, I so this is i. So hahanapin lang natin ang interest, i-minus natin dun sa sa ano natin. So that's 1000. Lalabas diyan ay 1000. So i-minus natin sa so sa 100. So that is sa so 1100. So the answer is 1000. Okay? Mali pala yung pagkakadagi ko dito. I-clear nang muna natin to. Ulitin ko to ha. May mali ako sa pagkaha. So that dito Trace ka lang to. Ulitin natin yung simple. Ulitin ko lang to ha. May mali pa. Pag simple interest wala, I, ang formula is I is equals to PRT. PRT. Okay. I plus PRT. Ang I na, ang ating uh, I na ito, which is the future value, di ba ang future value natin, future value is equals to I plus P. Okay? I plus P. So, mangyayari dito, I is PRT plus P. Yan. So, ang kailangan lang natin ay uh, mas, mahirap pala siya pag, pag simple. So, I future value is equals to I plus B. Nakuha po itong value. Ang, di ba itong future value natin? Future Apo. value is equals to I plus P. Interest plus principal. Yung interest po natin, which is 
PRT. So, pin- sinapsitsut ko lang po siya. So, that's P plus RT. So, ang kailangan natin ay yung principal. ba diba? Yung principal ang kailangan natin. So, ang gagawin po natin ay kuhanin natin ang common difference muna nito. This is P times RT plus 1. RT plus 1 to FB. Okay? Pat kung, pat kung naging ganyan, ang common, ang common uh, monomial factor nila ay P. So, PRT divided by P ay P, ay RT na lang matitira. Ang P divided by P ay 1. Kapag dinivide natin, inilabas lang natin yung P. Pareho kasi sila may P, di ba? Ngayon. So, ito na lang ang pang-divide natin. So, RT plus 1. So, this is RT plus 1. So, tanda natin, kapag simple, P is equals to future value over RT plus 1. Okay? So, kung hahanapin natin in simple to, so that will be 1,100 over, what is our R? Our R is 0.10. Times 1 plus 1. Okay? So this is 110, uh, 1,100 divided by 0.10 times 1 is 0.1 plus 1 is 1.1. So the, the answer will be 1,000. So this is our principle. Pag basic. Okay? So this is a formula ha, please take note of this. Kapag basic or simple interest at nawawala ang principal, this is the formula. P equals Vb over Rt plus 1. Kapag compound, ito ang formula. P is equals to Pb, oh, Fb over 1 plus R base to N. Okay, please take note of your the formulas. Huh? So, so kailangan mo invest for today kung simple ay 100 ay 1000. Tama po ba? 1000 times 10% is 100. So that's 100 plus 100 plus 1000 is 110 1100. Clear po tayo? I think this is the end. Okay. Okay. So yun lang po ang tatanda natin kapag po ang ating pong simple is I equals PRT and TB, uh, FB for simple is P plus I. Kapag sinabi naman nating uh, compounded, future value is equals to principal times the quantity R, uh, R plus, uh, 1 plus R raised to N. Okay. Pero po tayo, any questions so far? Yun lang ang atin. It's just a review of your lesson ng grade 11. Question po? Lana po, sir. Okay po. So I'll be sending you questions sa inyo pong GC na sasagutan na 1 to 10. Okay po? Opo, sir. Okay po. So thank you very much for attending. Goodbye po. Thank you, sir. po sa mga may mga kulang pa. So pakipasa po yung may kulang. Usap po rin na kapag kayo may sagot, huwag niyong ipasa sa mga kaklase niyo. Minsan halatang halata naman na galing sa kaklase kasi kung saan nagkamali yung isa, doon na nagkamali yung isa. Minsan ipinapasa din na um, yung computation sa first page ng isa ay pareho-pareho sa computation ng first page ng isa. Okay? Kung anong ilang space yung natira sa baba, yun din yung natira ng space ng kabila. Pausap naman po. So, goodbye. Bye, sir. Bye.